I am John Parsons. This is my short presentation on environmental rights. Protecting environmental rights is also protecting human rights. Environmental rights are protected country by country. In fact, some countries have the right to a healthy environment written in their constitution. But only recently has the UN General Assembly declared that having access to a clean, healthy, and sustainable environment become a human right. However, that is not a binding treaty, so there's no enforcement of environmental rights. Many of the environmental rights violations hit low-income minority people the hardest. Island nations are combating sea level rise, but it's the wealthy nations who cause the most emissions. The U.S. claims to protect the environment. Congress, however, has not acted fast enough to maintain a healthy environment for all of its citizens. Environmental rights are being championed by those who are affected the most. It's led by marginalized communities who bear the brunt of the damage. <laughs> After looking at the Flint water crisis, it's the mother of all rivers and the Dakota Access Pipeline Case studies, it's clear that the people's environmental rights have been taken advantage of by the government. Now the people of these communities need to take it upon themselves to protest and fight back. There are so many actions that need to be taken. One thing we can do is have better water management and better drinking water in order to ensure everyone with clean drinking water. Also, there should be a larger financial contribution from the wealthier, more polluting countries in order to help poorer countries employ more environmental-friendly policies and to help offset the cost of environmental damage that's already happened. Wealthier countries like the U.S. could offer tax breaks to businesses that use clean energy sources and create products that are sustainable. Thank you guys for listening.